Now we turn to a segment that will be sure to bring a smile to your face. I'm already smiling because I'm really excited to talk with 10-year-old Sean Atachobi, also known as Sean the Science Kid. You've seen him. He's been on your For You page all over social media, taking the internet by storm as he shares his passion for science through fun and engaging videos on social media. Sean hopes to inspire others with his curiosity and knowledge of science and dreams of one day becoming a brain and heart surgeon. Joining me now to talk about his joy of spreading love of science to the world is Sean the Science Kid. Oh my goodness, Sean, we have been so excited to talk with you all day. Your energy is just so contagious. Um, curious, when did you become so excited about science? I see you got a little dance going there too, my friend. <laughs> I'm just excited to be here and I can't wait to have an amazing, engaging conversation with you. All right, so Sean, tell me how you got started uh, with science. When did you first notice that science, that was your thing? Well, when I was just two years old, I started to become really curious. So really, I just noticed that I love to learn how things worked, what happened and why they happened. So that drove me to science because science is exactly that. Science is what makes the world go round and new discoveries is just finding different ways to make the world go round. That is so true. Well, Sean, why did you decide to share your passion with other kids and parents on social media? You've got quite the following. Well, I can describe it in three words. Sharing is caring, but... I just knew that I couldn't keep this brain to myself because I had learned so much and I just wanted to spread it with the world. And we are so excited and glad that you're not keeping your brain to yourself and that you're informing all of us. With that said, I wanna ask you, Sean, what is your favorite science topic? And I want you to break it down to us. Uh, put on your professor hat for us. Um, okay. Well. <laughs> My favorite type of science is a little thing called physics. Physics is the study of the inorganic world or basically not plants or animals or stuff. It's about motion, light, and how they interact and how motion and energy can combine and how space time encases all of that into this thing we call the universe. Wow. Um, physics is one of the classes in college that I did not do so well on, but if I had a professor like you, I'm pretty sure I would have aced it. Sean, you also talk about the importance of spreading kindness to your social media followers. I mean, it drips off of you. You're so kind. Why is this so important to you, my friend? Well, kindness is important because when you're kind to each other, that encourages each other to do amazing things because if you have a dream and you go up to someone and say, I have this dream and they say, you're never gonna achieve it, are you still gonna try and go to that dream? No, because your brain takes that as information that is true because we are social creatures and are led to believe what each other say. So if you say, yeah, go for it, which is what my mom did. She's amazing. I, I was like, and you might be like, woo, and get ready to go achieve your dream. Shout out to mama. And I think you might want to add motivational speaker to your resume as well. Sean, I have someone really special here who wants to talk with you, Samara Theodore. She is our meteorologist. Of course, she loves science as well. And she's got a question for you. Samara, take it away. Oh, thank you, Morgan. And so nice to speak with you. You are so bright. I'm so proud of you. I have a question. I love weather, OK? Now, if there's one thing you could tell me about, how does weather impact, say, static electricity? Well, as you know, it's winter and it's getting pretty cold. So you might be experiencing more static shocks. This is actually because there's less humidity in the air and there's less resistance because cold metals conduct electricity better than hot metals. So when you get electrons from the floor and they want to leave, 
you touch metal, which is conductive, and there's barely any resistance, <laughs> you get shocked instantly because the universe tends toward electrical balance. Oh, thank you so much, Sean and Samara. So glad to have my two favorite scientists with us. Oh, I'm your favorite? Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Sean. Keep up the great work. It's so great to talk with you.